Good morning, Philippines. Good morning, YouTube. How are you guys doing this fine Saturday morning? Uh, it's a beautiful, sunny Saturday morning here today. Um, guys are starting off with a little bit of concrete that they did not finish up yesterday afternoon. And uh, we'll be doing some more plaster coating, uh, roof trusses, and window sills. Window sills. Or window molding, sorry, window molding. Um, so, as uh, the guys get around to their stations and start getting back to work uh, this morning, uh, we'll take you around and show you what's going on. Um, did had a small conversation with the engineer yesterday afternoon. Um, he expects that <clears throat> we should be done with most of the truss work. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, we should be done with most of the truss work um, probably within the next two to three weeks. And then uh, also, we should be starting next week um, with the fence line uh, down the, the south side of the, the property here. Um, at least starting to dig the holes in the, um, the, the lines for where they go. <clears throat> so we'll get started on that uh, hopefully next week. Uh, we'll see how things go. Um, so that's uh, what I'm expecting for today and a little bit of next week. Let's get started. Right over on the uh, still continuing with the little bit of concrete that we did not finish up yesterday morning or oh, yesterday afternoon over the dirty kitchen so they're doing a bucket brigade going from the concrete mixing location through the garage door and through the window into the dirty kitchen on the other side I'm gonna go show you what the other side looks like <clears throat> Uh, people. Putting concrete all the way up to the top. And then on the outside here, putting the concrete in the buckets, passing it around. On the inside, Mr. Tuck is doing a home run for the electric conduits that came from the office area they're going to be doing they're going to be doing the home run right down the middle of the living room through the great room out into the <clears throat> out into the garage right. in the Jack and Jill bath Mr. Morning Mr. Anjo is working the uh, window sill See, like we have here on bedroom three, he's working that on the Jack and Jill window. Okay, <clears throat> going back out into the main part of the house, up here in the living room, dining room area. Um, they're building, some, they're fabricating a little bit more rebar for the uh, roof beams or the top beam for the walls. This is over the dining room. And back in the master bedroom. These guys are getting ready to plaster coat the remainder of this wall here. So they'll start, yes, they'll go from this wall to that one and around. So they'll do all that today. All right, so as you guys can see over my shoulder here and here, um, the guys are still mixing mortar and uh, a little bit of concrete uh, they're still pouring some of they're still pouring some of the um, roof beams uh, over the dirty kitchen area as well as doing a lot of plaster coating in the uh, master bedroom area on this side um, the gentlemen are getting the welders are getting set up with their scaffolding uh, what they're going to do is start working the uh, the, the truss that's going to come from the top of the roof ridge here down and it's going to come down over here on the, to the side of the garage uh, almost to that column but not quite uh, the column there on the corner by um, Mr. Jo uh, by Mr. Uh, Joseph uh, so that's the corner of the maid's suite uh, her bedroom and the uh, the garage well I was going to do a little time lapse for you guys 
showing them putting up the uh, the trusses. Didn't realize that they've actually still got to do the extension work. So they're putting the two, doing the connections. And they'll start working these up on top uh, a little bit later this afternoon. They've already got the support uh, across here. Um, one of the subscribers had mentioned asking about looking at the uh, plans. Um, showing what was actually on the plan for um, the sizes, uh, the lengths of these trusses. And pull that up. Okay, on these, it actually shows we're going from this section down and it's going to continue all the way. So the actual piece that they need, it says HPT 12. Let's go back and look on that page that shows those details. HT, HPT 12 shows here. These, are, these measurements are in millimeters. This comes out to about 4.5 meters by two and a half meter rise. Uh, the wall that is showing here in the detail is actually the wall that is on the bathroom in the, the half bath upstairs in the uh, closet area. So we're up in the uh, attic space. So that's where that's gonna be. So the measurements that they have on the drawings and what they're actually doing in the field may differ slightly um, a lot of that a lot of times that happens because the engineer has a way of designing it and telling them what the load's going to be but one note that i've always seen on plans um, is that the builders must field verify all their dimensions does that mean that the engineer got it wrong? No. Does that mean the builder got it wrong? No. But what you do end up having is slight changes as you go through construction. So sometimes things deviate a little bit from the plan. Sometimes, you know, nature happens. Uh, so what they're gonna do, they'll do on this particular instance, they're gonna attach it to the top, put it all the way down here to the end. And that'll be, that'll be a temporary piece. So um, the top half of it will remain in place until they find out where the connecting arch, uh, the connecting hip roof is gonna go out the back. And once they find that, then they'll uh, connect it and make it back to the, the, the right sizes that it needs to be. So a lot of times the, uh, the engineer does leave it up to the builder to be able to decide how to do his job best. All right, moving on. Mr. Anjo is putting on more of the uh, window sills. This is for the Jack and Jill bath. So he's working the top piece, which is usually the hardest piece to do. Okay. Continuing in the inside, inside bedroom three. Hi, Mr. Alex. <laughs> um, they're working on the top beam they call it a roof beam but it's not really a roof it's if it's on the inside of the building so it's the top beam this is going to help distribute the load <laughs> so they're uh that's going to distribute the load from uh whatever is on top uh around to the uh columns when it gets to those locations okay let's go ahead and continue inside the building inside the building <clears throat> inside the building back in the master bedroom they have been working on the plaster coating here so they're in the process of waiting for more uh, mortar to be fixed and then they'll uh, come back in and continue. Okay. Waiting for mortar, huh? So, coming back inside, Mr. Tuck is still working the um, 
home runs. So they do the electrical uh, conduits where it goes all the way back to the um, where it goes back to the circuit breaker circuit panel out in the garage. So this is where they're burying those, and they'll, they'll make the run all the way out to the uh, through the garage. Home run. They're still prepping the side, uh, getting the surface ready uh, for plaster coating. Um, you can see Mr. Jericho down here in the bottom is starting plaster coating down on the base. So they'll start from there and work their way up. Okay. That's about where everybody is at today. It does look like they are still mixing more. They're mixing more mortar. So we'll get working on that. We'll show you those once uh, they get start plaster coating some more. And again, they are still working the uh, working the extension for the truss. So they're putting piece to piece. Uh, the other thing they're doing as well is um, as they get it made, they're going back behind it. And what y'all heard with all the banging earlier is they're um, hitting it with the sledgehammers uh, to straighten it back out because during the during the welding process the heat actually bends some of the metal so they bang it back straight on the road put it back up in in place when they get done all right so they've got the extension to put together for the truss and they're going to start working their way up to the top get this uh, truss put into place I'm going to set this on uh, time lapse. I'm going to try this one more time and uh, see if I can't catch what they're doing over a shorter period of time. since we've been uh, watching them put the truss up in place. Let's walk around and see what everybody else is doing just before lunch. Um, so they've got a, a good amount of plaster coat on this one. This is their first coat of plaster coat. Um, it's the first course, so they're still gonna make it a little thicker and keep going and smooth it down. Um, let's look at the plaster coat over here in the master bedroom. The young man underneath is uh, cleaning it up a little bit, cleaning up the droppings. Um, so what they'll do is once he's got the droppings cleaned up, he'll hop back up on top like he's doing right now. And you're going to start plaster coating some more. If you can see, they still have the string lines here. That's how thick they need to come out. So he's not quite there yet. Add a little bit of water to the, the mortar, make sure it's still workable, and keep on pushing. Uh, so he'll keep working on that the rest of this morning and probably most of this afternoon. Because it's going to end up smooth like the rest of these walls that are in here. Alright, coming back into the house. Um, Mr. Tuck is still working the um, home run. All right. <laughs> Up here on the other side of this wall they are still continuing to work forms for the um, roof beam or that, that top load dispersing beam load distributing all right let's go take a look through the other part of the house here they're still fabricating the top load beams all right let's go take a walk through the Jack and Jill See if we can peek around the corner at what they're doing here in bedroom number two. Okay. In bedroom number two, these guys are still continuing to work the plaster coat, top and bottom. So Mr. Ben is finishing up the top half and Mr. Totoy is continuing to work the bottom. Yeah. 
Alright, we'll come back and look at this a little bit later. Also here in the master suite, looks like they're moving scaffolding back into the bathroom area. And they're going to put forms on these uh, top bars that are the top load distributing bars of beams. Um, been calling them roof beams, but I'm not sure it's actually a roof beam when you get inside the house. Um, whatever the name is, it, it, the, the idea is that it's distributing the load to the nearest uh, to the nearest column so that it can go down to the ground. So yes, they're relocating these. This will be where they'll be working this afternoon. All right, mid-afternoon walk around. Let's go talk, take a look and see where everybody's at. Um, our welder guys are starting to work on where the hip roof is going to come out of uh, this tr last truss that they just put in over the garage. And that's going to be for the, uh, the hip roof that's going to come out over the um, maid's room, maid's suite, and utility room. Uh, also the other back side of the garage. Okay, so that's where they're working at next. Let's see what's going on inside. Mr. Ben and Mr. Um, Totoy have been working on the inside of bedroom number two. They are still working on the plaster coating. They, still, they finished the top half earlier today and they will be completing the bottom half here shortly. Okay, let's go take a look around the rest. Nice when the windows are open, you can just peek through and see what's going on and get in everybody's business. Okay, the window molding that Mr. Anjo finished earlier today looks good. I believe he's moved on to getting ready to start on another window. The roof beam, or the uh, top load dispersal beam. I don't know what to call that thing. Somebody give me, somebody give me an answer. What do you call that thing? Hello. <laughs> um, so this beam here across the top of the walls is, is being fabricated today. And there's Mr. Alex over there in the corner. You can barely see him right here. He's, he's working with that with um, one of the other guys. I believe it's Mr. Gabby. Okay, let's see what else is going on inside. All right, we're cutting forms down to size. Getting ready to put forms on all of these, um, the rest of these beams that need to get poured. Beams and columns that are still requiring concrete. So, wrapping up on the finished part. This is the rough finish. We will go back over this again with it and smooth it out like that afterwards. And it'll be smooth like the rest of the walls on the interior of the building. The interior of the building is getting the smooth finish because they're going to go over this with skim coat and then paint. The outside is getting the rough finish like that because they're going to go over it with skim coat and then flex, uh, hardy flex. So it's going to have a uh, cement fiberboard. Um, working on it on the outside. Mr. Anjo through the water closet window is working on the windowsill for that particular window. We'll go out and see him here in a minute. Let's we'll see where everybody else is at. I think there were a couple of guys working. Ooh, this is getting nice. So the only thing, only jack stands that are still up are the ones holding up the beams. Another week. And those will be down. Probably this time next week, those should be gone. Let's see what's up over here with Mr. Anai. Anai is what the, the Tagalog term for termite. <laughs> so he's always going behind and digging up stuff. So <laughs> he's, he's working on the, uh, on the home runs. So this is gonna be the direct path out to the uh, to the circuit control panel or the circuit panels which are right on the other side of that or right on that wall 
the far wall right there by the garage. So as soon as you come into the garage, you hang, hang that hard turn, and then right there in that little storage area. All right, let's go see what these guys are doing on the back. Nice, nice. Looks like we're doing uh, plaster coating still here on the back. This is the uh, back side of the dirty kitchen. So Mr. Uh, Jericho and Mr. Justin and Lance, young Lance over there is helping them out. And over here on the side is our warehouse man, or as they call it in, in Tagalog, the Buruguero. He's uh, helping with site cleanup a little bit around the around the site. So looking good, people, looking good. This is the uh, windowsill that. Mr. Andre was working on, I was showing you from the inside. Just like the others that he's been working on. He's done every windowsill that we've had up so far. Doing good. Okay, back to the drawings um, from the roof framing plan. 
we're looking at what they're putting in place right now, which is this hip truss right here, HT number six. This is starting at the middle of the garage and heading across uh, towards the west wall of the um, maid suite and utility room area. So this one, they're actually fabricating it in place um, instead of having it prefab like they have most of the trusses so far. Um, so this one, they're fabricating it in, in place. See if they were supposed to do it. Let's see, let me try to find it. Looking at the hip truss details. Here we go, HT6. So it tells them the length here. These are their segments that they're supposed to go. So one, two, three, four, five, six segments long at 670 millimeters a piece. Here we go, 670 millimeters in each section before it starts doing a pitch down. One, two, three, four, five, six, six times 670. Math in public is not my strong suit. So that's roughly just under 400, uh, under four meters. So four, see, 670 times three, four, five, six. Yep, what I say, just over, just over four meters. I guess my public math isn't too bad. Okay, but what they're doing is instead of prefabbing and getting it up in place and being the wrong dimension what they're actually doing is fabricating it in place so this is when you do truss but verify so you you trust the measurement that you're going to have but you make sure to field verify all of your measurements and this is what they're working on here so they're going from this point out to the end and this should be right at four meters uh, four meters being roughly just over th uh, right at about I think 13 feet again public math is not my strong suit math I'm not so bad public math not so good um, so that's where we're looking at they're actually fab fabricating that in place um, they typically put in more uh, bracing than what is on the engineer's drawings. So most of these um, trusses that they're building should actually be stronger than what the engineer uh, calculated. Uh, it, you know, more braces equals more strength, correct? Uh, that's, that's the kind of rule of thumb I've been using. Um, so I have not complained that their uh, webbing, uh, the web bracing is actually more than what we uh, planned for so all right you guys are getting ready to put up the uh, brace of the truss that's going to go from the end right here where these two guys are at up to the top where mr joseph is at and they're going to connect it there that'll support that um that piece coming out that this hip truss will support the pitch truss Because once they get it up here in place is where Mr. Joseph is here is getting in place and welding it so that it stays put. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna do a little uh, Saturday afternoon shout outs. Um, just a, I'm not shouting out to everybody. I've got a lot of subscribers that have called that have uh, commented. Um, so I'm trying to hit these a little bit at a time. Um, so the ones I'm catching today are the ones that have commented recently um, from Texas. So, of course, the first one from Texas is our daughter, the original Texpina. 
Um, my brother Ricky, um, another Phil Am couple uh, that have their own channels called Buhai Jamaica. Um, another one that's also there in Texas, another Phil Am couple. Uh, their channel is called Texas Filipino. Uh, then two others, uh, Jason Lacey and John Darwin. Uh, thanks for the comments. Thanks for the interactions. Uh, thanks for subscribing. Uh, all right, so as we're coming into the house, you guys have been working on forms. Uh, don't look like we're pouring any concrete this afternoon. Um, so we're just getting forms ready. Uh, we should be able to pour these on Monday. And back into the guest bedroom side of the house. They've been working on these uh, top load dispersal, be uh, load disbursement beams coming down into the columns. And they're doing finishing on the plaster coat for bedroom number two on the north wall. Mr. Ben and Mr. Toto have been working this pretty well most of the day. All right, let's go see where everybody else is at. In the master bedroom, the other wall has been finished. So it's uh, got the good smooth finish on it right now. When they get the next step on this will be skim coat and paint at a later point. Still have this whole wall here to do at some point. So we'll get there eventually. All right, as you can see from the amount of video for today, um, our guys have been busy, busy, busy. Um, most importantly, with the trusses up here today, we made sure that even though we have uh, engineering drawings and it says specifically what the lengths of each uh, hip truss or uh, web trussing is supposed to be, they are field verifying. So in the words of, uh, to paraphrase the former president, Ronald Reagan, trust but verify something like that trust but verify so if you like today's video please give us a big thumbs up if you'd like to see more of these videos hit the casa texpina star right over here and you'll be subscribed hit the bell icon just below the view screen and you'll be notified of our next video upload for your viewing pleasure have a great weekend and god bless thank you for watching if you liked today's video, please hit like, subscribe, and hit the little bell icon to be notified when our next video becomes available.